Hello everyone, welcome to Infigam. In this very very exciting video of algebraic challenging equations, we are going to solve one interesting rational equation. Equation is 1 over x plus 1 over x plus 1 plus 1 over x plus 2 equal to 13 over 12. I will solve this problem using substitution. Let's get started by providing substitution x plus 1 equal to t. If x plus 1 equal to t, then we can write x is equal to t minus 1 which is required to substitute and x plus 2 if you will write then that value will be t plus 1. Let's put over there. So I will write 1 over t minus 1 plus original equation 1 over t plus 1 over t plus 1. Now I will club first and last term. Let me write here 1 over t minus 1 plus 1 over t plus 1 plus 1 over t equal to 13 over 12. Let's take LCM for first two term only. So I will write t plus 1 plus t minus 1 over t minus 1 times t plus 1. In next step, we will write the difference of a square plus 1 over t equal to 13 over 12. So here I can cancel plus 1 and minus 1. So what will left? That is 2t over a plus b a minus b. So we we'll, can write t square minus 1 plus 1 over t equal to 13 over 12. Now we will take LCM of completely left hand side. Complete left hand side. See what will happen. I will write 12 times. After taking LCM we can multiply also t square minus 1 plus 2t square in the LHS or one side and other side would be 13t times t square minus 1. Let's simplify. So 12 3t square minus 1 equal to 13. Let me write t cube minus t. Let's expand. So it will give us 36 t square. It is t square minus 12 equal to 13 t cube minus 13 t. Take all the terms to LHS one side. So I can write 13 t cube minus 36 t square minus 13 t plus 12 equal to 0. This is our ultimate cubic equation. Now you can see we have to solve this cubic equation. And let me remind you what was our substitution. Substitution was x plus 1 equal to t. At last we will put back the value of t to get x. So I will use rational root theorem. If you will see the factors of 12 then we can write plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 and plus minus 12. Leading coefficient if you will check then it is plus minus 1 and plus minus 13 as it is prime number. Okay, now we have to take the ratio. So there are number of possibilities means these roots plus every root divided by plus minus 13. So let me begin putting to collect our base solution. Let me consider t equal to plus 1. Is it true? 13 minus 36 minus 13 plus 12. No, it is not. If I will put t equal to minus 1. So if I will put t equal to minus 1, then I will write minus 13 minus 36 plus 13 plus 12. Is this true? No. Let me put t equal to 2 also. So I will write 2 cube 8. 13 times 8, 104 minus 144 
minus 13 times 2, so 26 plus 12. Is this 0? No. Let me put t equal to 3. Okay. If I will put t equal to 3, I will write 13, 3 cube, so 27 minus 36 t square, so 9. 3 square is 9 minus 13 times 3 plus 12. Let's write the value. 13 times 27 is 351. 13 times 9 is 324. 36 times 9. And 13 times 3 is 39 plus 12. 351 plus 12, 363. And if you will add 324 and 39, it is also 363. That means base solution is confirmed, that is 3. This is our cubic equation whose base is t equal to 3. We will apply synthetic division and we can collect the quadratic equation. Let me write here. t equal to 3 is our base solution. Let me write all the coefficients of cubic equation. That was 13 t cube minus 36 t square minus 13 t plus 12. So this much we will write using synthetic division method. Okay, let me consider leading term or leading coefficient as it is 13. 13 times 3, 39. What is left? 3. 3 times 3, 9. What is left? Negative 4. 3 times negative 4, negative 12. What is left? 0. So these are the coefficients for quadratic equation. 13t square plus 3t minus 4 equal to 0. Okay. Remember our substitution was, it was our original substitution. We will use that little later. Okay. Now I will apply quadratic formula. t equal to minus b. So minus 3 plus minus square root of b square 9 minus 4 ac. It will become plus 16 times 13. So it is 208 divided by 2a, so 26. a is 13. So I can write minus 3 plus minus square root of 217 over 26. So here we are having three solutions for the cubic polynomial in t. So let me write t is equal to 3 and minus 3 plus minus root 217 over 26. Done. Now we have to find out the value of x. So x will be equal to, from here you can write t minus 1. So I will take away 1. So x will be equal to, t minus 1 will be equal to, I will write 3 minus 1, so 2. And this value minus 1, if you will write, then it will come out minus 20, 29 plus minus 217 divided by 26. So this is our final solution. Let us verify one value t x is equal to 2. So I will write here 1 over 2 plus 1 over 3 verification and I am putting x equal to 2. 1 over x plus 2, 2 plus 2, 4. So you can see LCM is 12. So you will write here 6 plus 4 plus 3. So it is coming out 13 over 12, which is our RHS, hence verified. Okay, so x is equal to 2 is integer solution and otherwise it is irrational roots. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.